equals to 8x. 4x times negative 3x equals to negative 12x squared. And then 4x times negative x squared equals to negative 4x to the power 3. Then followed by negative 1 times 2 equals to negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 3x equals to positive 3x. Negative 1 times negative x squared equals to positive x squared. So this is left hand side plus the right hand side. So we'll take negative 3 times 2x squared will give us negative 6x squared. Negative 3 times negative x equals to positive 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 equals to positive 9 followed by negative 2 times 2x squared equals negative 4x to the power 3. Negative 2 times uh, negative x equals to positive 2x squared. And negative 2x times negative 3 equals to positive 6x. So let's simplify the uh, left-hand side bracket first. So here, we will take the x to the power of 3 first. So negative 4x to the power of 3, we copy first. Followed by negative 12x squared plus x squared equals to negative 11x squared. And then 8x plus 3x equals to 11x. And then finally, when negative 2, copy the negative 2. Plus, the uh, bracket on the right-hand side, we start off with x to the power of 3. So copy negative 4x to the power of 3 first. Followed by negative 6x squared plus 2x squared equals to negative 4x squared. And then 3x plus 6x equals to 9x plus uh, the number 9. Okay? So from here, simplify further. We take negative 4x to the power of 3 plus negative 4x to the power of 3 will give us negative 8x to the power of 3. Then we have negative 11x squared plus negative 4x squared. The answer is negative 15x squared. And then we have 11x plus 9x equals to 20x, negative 2 plus 9 equals to 7. So this will be the answer for part A. So for part B, we are asked to differentiate 1 minus 5x squared bracket to the power of 3 over 2. So here, we are not to, uh, told about what uh, which formula to use. So what we do is we will use the power rule formula. Uh, so in this case, so we will differentiate uh, the power first. So take out 3 over 2. So we have 3 over 2 times the function here, 1 minus 5x squared. And then the power we minus 1 here. Okay. Then followed by differentiation of whatever inside the bracket here. So when we differentiate uh, negative 5x squared, so 2 times 5 will give us negative 10x. So for constant, we just ignore it. Eh? So we just differentiate negative 5x squared. The answer is negative 10x. So from here, 2 and 10, we can cancel. All right. So we get 1 times 2 here, 5 times 2. So this is negative 5x times 3. The answer will be negative 15x. And this bracket, we will copy again. The three uh, power 3 over 2 minus 1 will be equal to half. So this will be the answer for question B. Okay, for part C, we are asked to use the chain rule method to solve this uh, question. So in order to use uh, the chain rule, the first step is we have to take u to represent whatever inside the bracket. So let u equals to 5 minus 2x. Then what we do is we differentiate u compared with x. So du over dx equals to, so we differentiate negative 2x will give us negative 2. The 5 doesn't have x, we just ignore it, okay? So since we have taken u to uh, replace 5 minus 2x, so now we will substitute u into uh, this bracket. So we will have y equals to, so this is u, u to the power 2. So next what we do is we find dy du, alright, so dy over du, when we differentiate u square, so take out the 2, so we have 2u, so the power minus 1, remainder 1 here, okay. So next applying the chain rule formula, dy dx equals to dy over du times du over dx, so substitute dy du with 2u, okay. And then substitute du dx with negative 2. So we will have dy dx equals to 2u times negative 2. Uh, so we will get negative 2 times 2u will be negative 
for you. Alright, so now to find the answer for this question, we will substitute the u with 5 minus 2x. So therefore, dy dx will be equals to substitute u with 5 minus 2x. So this will become the answer. So if we uh, simplify further, negative 4 times 5 equals to negative 20. Negative 4 times negative 2x will be positive 8x. So this is how we apply the chain rule formula. Okay? And finally, part D. Again, we, were, we are told to use the uh, chain rule but in uh, since uh, u is equal to 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 okay so in order to differentiate u we have to use the quotient or division rule where u is 3x plus 2 and v is x plus 1 therefore du dx remember we copy v first then differentiate u minus copy u differentiate v over v square okay so from here 3 times x will be 3x 3 times 1 3 minus 1 times 3x 3x 1 times 2 2 and then if we simplify further 3x minus 3x we can cancel and then 3 minus 2 equals to 1 and the denominator x plus 1 square we just copy it again so this is du over dx now next we substitute u into the function y we will get y equals to 2u to the power 3 so from here dy over du is equals to 3 times 2 6 3 minus 1 becomes 2 so therefore using the chain rule dy over dx equals to dy over du times du over dx we substitute dy du with 6u square here all right and then du dx we have found just now as 1 over x plus 1 square so from here substitute the u with 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 all right substitute here to the power 2 all right so from here so 6 times 1 will give us 6 and then 3x plus 2 square will be 3x plus 2 square over x plus 1 square times x plus 1 square will be x plus 1 to the power 4 okay